Hello, welcome to another video. This one is a little bit different. Um, it's an after action report of a game me and Alex uh, played recently. Uh, 20mm Falklands using uh, Fireteam Modern. Um, what we decided to do the last time we did um, an after action report was sort of film the whole lot. Uh, and it was uh, quite long and there's obviously parts of it that we had to edit out that weren't particularly interesting when we're discussing rules and things like that. So what we've done this time is um, we've basically followed the action of the game. Uh, we've taken photos at various points. Um, and what I've done, I've done a, a sort of a voiceover describing what's happening. Uh, so I'd be, uh, well, we'd both be very interested to see which one uh, people prefer, whether it's the uh, film and everything. Uh, and just sitting watching it or whether this sort of edited version um, at the moment I haven't done them both I think I'm leaning towards the edited one but um, we'll just have to have to wait and see um, <clears throat> so what we've basically got for the uh, a game it's based around Longdon in the Falklands so we've basically got um, a long thin uh, rock spine on the top of the hill um, with the uh, Argentinians uh, defending it and uh, initially we've got a platoon uh, a three para platoon um, assaulting it uh, there's uh, some support elements um, the British have got a couple of 105s on call and the Argentines also have some uh, support as well um, so that's what the game is. Um, we'll probably go down to it now, let you have a look, um, see what you think. Uh, as I've already mentioned, we'd definitely be interested to in know what you think uh, about the, the format. Um, we'll take it from there. So we'll get down to the table and we'll go through the game. Right, so this is uh, initially an overall view of the, um, of the rock spine looking from uh, where the British are attacking from. So you're looking through the Argentine positions. Um, we've got Argentine fire teams on both sides of the spine. There's an Argentine medium machine gun uh, team, which is on the round base, uh, you can see there. There's also an Argentine Ford Observer actually on the rock spine. Um, uh, moving uh, further back up the hill, there's further Argentine um, fire teams. There's uh, the command post is a little bit further back uh, next to uh, some mortar positions. And there's also a 105 recoilless, um, recoilless gun further back as well. Um, uh, well you'll see these positions um, a, little bit, um, a little bit later on. Um, In the scenario, it is night time, which obviously in the rules systems affects the spotting quite um, quite dramatically, uh, and we'll describe that as we go through uh, as we go through the various turns. So that's the um, uh, that's the position uh, of the Argentinians, uh, as I've already mentioned. The British platoon will be advancing effectively from the bottom of your screen. Right, a couple of close-ups of the Argentine positions. So here you can see the uh, the RG forward observer on the rock spine uh, next to him. To his um, to your to your right, the medium machine gun team, and you can see that uh, next to them there's an Argentine fire team in some uh, in some uh, in some trenches. Right, and here we've got one of the uh, four man Argentine. Uh, fire teams in one of the uh, one of the uh, trench positions. Uh, these are uh, I think the resin. Uh, I'm actually thinking about them, and they may be the old Britannians, but they work. Uh, they work quite nice. Right, and this is the uh, Argentine command element. Uh, he's next to. Uh, you can just see at the top of the screen there. He's next to uh, an 81 millimeter mortar position. Right, and here we've got a bit of a better view of the um, of the 81mm mortar. Right, 
And here we're looking at uh, another one of the uh, the Argentine uh, Argentine positions. Right, and this is the uh, Argentine 120 motor. Uh, obviously a bigger crew, uh, and this is a little bit further back uh, on the rock spine. And again, a little bit further back, this is the uh, Argentine 105 recoilers rifle that they managed to drag up on top of the hill. Uh, again, as I've said, this was a, a little bit further back. Uh, this is a view from the uh, from the Argentine side, looking down toward the table, uh, towards where the British are advancing from. Obviously, this is uh, the back end of the uh, back end of the position. Right, and this is the last uh, view before everything kicks off. This is obviously the uh, the Argentine forward observer. Right, start of the game. So turn one. Uh, Alex was the British. I was playing the Argentinians. Um, he got the initial activation, um, got one section uh, to advance. He was using the standard uh, two sections forward, platoon headquarters in the centre uh, and a section in the rear in support. Um, the Argentinians activated uh, next. Uh, they activated the forward observer who tried to call, did spot, tried to call um some artillery support however he was a little bit unlucky and the request was denied um where alex uh are rather activated the right hand uh my right hand forward fire team uh they failed to um to spot um to spot targets um then went over to a, a british activation alex uh activated two section uh, moved forward, they went down, tried to spot some Argentinians, obviously with it being night, they also um, failed to spot. Uh, what we then had is uh, the British Platoon Command was activated, um, they moved forward, again failed to spot due to the uh, the night time. Uh, we then had uh, Alex activated three section, uh, which was his third one, they advanced, uh, so he had the whole platoon on. Um, I activated the um, Argentinian medium machine gun. However, um, that uh, that failed to spot as well. Um, however, on the upside, um, my left hand uh, fire team managed to spot uh, Alex's section in front of them. Uh, open fired, quite nasty, uh, caused two dead and two seriously wounded. Uh, and that's where we finished for uh, for turn one. So we had the uh, the British had stopped their advance. First blood was to the uh, Argentinians. Right. So turn two. What happened? Um, British activated initially. Uh, Alex activated the platoon commander who called in uh, his Arties one o fives. That went through, however, um, uh, the call was delayed, wouldn't be arriving at the following turn. Um, he then activated three section who um, moved up uh, and fired, uh, basically on the Argentine left hand uh, forward fire team. Um, they ended up getting suppressed, they were on 13 points of suppression. Um, uh, I got an activation next, so activated the medium machine gun team, um, opened up on three section, causing one, another uh, seriously injured. Um, got the run of the cards again, I activated the right hand forward uh, fire team, uh, tried to spot, unfortunately uh, failed. Um, Alex then activated three section, and what he decided to do uh, after going prone was... Um, putting some suppressive fire on the medium machine gun. Um, did a really good job with that, um, causing uh, basically a morale check and causing them to break. Um, uh, so this obviously caused uh, a few problems uh, for, the, for me. 
Right, and then what we we had then um, uh, the Argentine command were activated. However, Alex trumped it with one of his command cards. Uh, did suppressive fire on the uh, left hand uh, forward fire team. <coughs> uh, they got ended up with 24 points of uh, suppression, which caused them a morale check. However, they did manage to pass it, but they did end up on 19 uh, on 19 points, which wasn't particularly good. Um, I managed to activate my platoon commander, which you can see here. He went to the um, medium machine gun team, which had broken, uh, managed to rally them, got them down to nine points. Um, uh, so they moved from um, from broken uh, to suppressed, and that was basically the end of um, of turn two. So the British at this stage were starting to slightly, I think, get the uh, get the upper hand. So turn three, uh, the British delayed artillery arrived. This was. Uh, where the aiming point went, um, which I was reasonably, uh, which I was reasonably happy with. Right, and this is the artillery arriving. Uh, not very nice. Uh, the front left hand fire team two dead, uh, twelve points of suppression. Uh, two figures, the more suppression ended up with uh, thirty one points of suppression, which caused. Um, a morale check, uh, and also had the um, Argentine forward observer was killed. Yeah, never nice to see. So here yeah, we've got uh, thirty-one points of suppression, um, and the guys didn't like that at all. They are heading away from the opposition. Right, and what will happen next in the activations, uh, Argentine right hand fire team spots one section, opens up on them, uh, causing three seriously injured um, to one section. Um, the Argentinian my left hand fire team uh, continued to route, um, uh, and Alex's one section did concentrated fire at the right hand fire team, um, causing quite a bit of damage. Uh, I managed to activate me. Um, uh, medium machine gun team removed a suppression point, uh, and then my commander removed a, a further four. Um, what then happened was um, the uh, my one of my uh, one of the British fire teams occupied the left hand left hand forward Argentine trench, shot at the um, medium machine gun again, causing one Argentine seriously wounded. Um, the stage then, what happened next, um, uh, Alex's three section, uh, close assault of the Argentine right hand forward trench, uh, the orges uh, were suppressed, so there was no defensive fire, um, one seriously wounded, um, however the, the British obviously captured that position. Um, the Argentinian command moved back to try and remove suppression from the medium machine gun team, and uh, Alex's two section opened up on them. Uh, causing one dead, two seriously wounded, which effectively uh, destroyed that unit. And that was the end of um, of turn four. Um, and now at this stage, uh, not looking particularly uh, good for the Argentinians, although the British have taken quite a few uh, casualties uh, to achieve what they've, uh, what they've done. Right, and this is a view looking up the table from the uh, from my Argentine baseline. You can see uh, all the suppression and the routed Argentine troops looking up to um, the positions uh, that the British uh, that the British have captured. Right, start of turn four. Um, I managed to get an activation first, uh, activated the front right on fire team, however they continued uh, to break, uh, didn't want any more uh, to do with it. Um, next card was a British card, uh, Alex activated a platoon command who uh, called in artillery on the, um, the right hand rear Argentine trench. Um, 
very, very lucky with his dice rolls. He got um, an immediate um, uh, artillery strike. Uh, this was absolutely uh, horrendous from the Argentinian point of view. Um, uh, 24 points of suppression, 10 hits, um, 1 KIA, 4 seriously wounded. So effectively that fire team was completely um, taken out. Right, and at this stage, um, I basically thought discretion was the better part of Valor. There was very little point uh, in me trying to continue the defence. The troops were uh, either routing or um, or in a world of pain, so were basically pulled back off the hill. Um, I think it mirrored quite accurately, really, what happened. Um, the British were assaulting, and as a result of that, they, they did take quite a few casualties. However, at the end of the day, the, um, the troop quality uh, came to the fore um, with the Argentinians um, effectively breaking. Uh, good game, thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, uh, fighting modern, really like it, worked very well. This is the first attempt at doing the, um, the ARs this way. It still needs to, a little bit um, tinkering with and finesse, but I quite like the way it, uh, it plays out and I would be really interested in seeing uh, what your views are on. Right, so there we are. Um, uh, as normal, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, have a think about um, subscribing. You can do that um, from the main channel page or alternatively at the end of the video. You can click the um, button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which is an Empress 28mm Modern British Infantryman. Um, uh, as I mentioned in the introduction, um, different format. Um, I personally, I think it maybe works a little bit better, but I'd, I'd be interested to know uh, what you folks thought. Um, uh, so, coming up. Um, we've got um, the Battleground show at Stockton uh, at the end of November. Um, fairly definitely that's going to be 28mm uh, Falklands are using the low level skirmish rules. Uh, basically Sangin, which is the second edition of Sangin, which I've already done a video on. Um, so that's what we'll be using. And obviously normal score uh, for um, the shows that we're at. Um, please come up and have a chat out. It's always good. There were... Have a good night out, um, and discuss uh, what's on the table. Okay, so uh, once again, thanks very much indeed for watching. Thanks for all your support. Any questions, uh, drop a comment and we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, and we'll see you next time.